Hey there. So um, I've received a number of viewer requests based on my videos about the 3C. I've actually already released a video um, answering a lot of those questions, but there were other questions that remained unanswered um, and ones that really needed um, a video treatment as opposed to just a response in a post. So hopefully this video covers most, perhaps not all, of that remaining ground. Um, and answers questions that may have been asked for a while ago, and I've finally gotten to it here. So my apologies uh, for the delay, but here's viewer request number two. Okay, one of the things that you can do with the uh, 3C is you can expand the storage with an SD card, um, and it can go up to two terabytes uh, of additional storage. So what we're gonna do right now is we're gonna show the process of loading the SD card, of moving a file over to the SD card, um, and then ejecting the SD card. Um, and it's a pretty straightforward process, but uh, this was a user request, so I thought we would go ahead and film this uh, in case you are curious. So just for orientation, you have here on the side the USB-C uh, outlet, and then it's hard to see it, uh, but just below, less than an inch below that is a slot where the SD card is loaded. And we've got the, uh, the actual piece here. I've ar already taken the liberty of pulling that out. And I also have an SD card. Um, it's not a two terabyte. In fact, it's a one gigabyte card, uh, but it's what I had lying around and we'll use that um, for this demonstration. I should point out that I've just formatted uh, this SD card on my computer. That will be important as we'll see. So I'm going to go ahead and load this in, and I'm going to place it um, place it like so. Big finger to brace it. So now uh, the contact points are facing toward the front of the device. So I'm going to go ahead and slide that in, and then the uh, the little. Um, the hole is on top. Let's go ahead and get that connected. Okay, I turned off the other lighting, so now it's easier to see the screen with no glare. Um, and basically, I just point out that you can see in the system tray up here, there's now the icon for um, the card that we loaded. And if you swipe down, there it's recognized, and there's the ability to eject the card. There's also this button to say set up. So let's do that. And looks like you just have the option for transferring media between devices. There really isn't um, another option. So there you go. Okay. And that actually, that part of the process wasn't necessary, by the way. If you go into storage and if you go into this, you can see that your internal storage is located here and the SD card is located here. And the last time I went through this process, I didn't do the setup from the um, from the bar and it loaded just fine. So if I click on this, you can see now that there are directories um, on the uh, card that were not there before. So all this was gone and now there's something there. So let's go ahead and back out. Let's go ahead and see how we move a file over. So I'm going to go here into the uh, storage for the device itself. I'm gonna click on the documents and I'm gonna go ahead and long press this CBR, which is a comic book file, like so. And then I have the option of copying it. And we're gonna go ahead and go back through the folder structure to the SanDisk SD card and then I can go ahead, long press, or actually, no, I, I can just paste. And the file is now copied onto the root drive. I can also create folders by clicking on that little folder with a plus, like so, and just name the folder, etc. Okay, so how do we disconnect the SD card? Well, that's actually fairly easy. We can go ahead and click on this menu up here. I'll go ahead and click on that. And then we have the ability to eject the media. So I'm going to click on that. 
Do you want to unmount the SD card? Yes. And it's disconnected. I can reconnect it one of two ways. I can either take the SD card out and then reinsert it, or I can click this load button. Now it's gonna give me this message saying that they want me to reload it before using it again. Maybe that's a problem, but if I click okay, it's actually just gonna go ahead and load it successfully. Um, so that's not necessary. But certainly if you wanna take the SD card out, you definitely wanna unload it. And we'll click on that menu item and eject like so. And that's pretty much it. Okay, so I unloaded the card and I attached it to my computer and I went ahead and loaded some additional files on that. You'll notice that the percentage used now is 19%. I put about five or so comic books onto the card. And of course we can click on the card and we can click on the comic book uh, in order to kind of launch it in whatever app will play that. It would launch by NeoReader by default. If we opened up an app like Perfect Viewer, we could look to this drive. Um, but I'm curious, we have these icons over here, which are shortcuts. And the documents icon, I believe, will automatically read the SD card and list the documents there. So let's see if those comic book files are there. And yes, they are. All these Devastation comics were loaded onto the card. So the device automatically loaded those. Um, and let's go ahead and click on one. It should load NeoReader. And this is, again, reading off of the SD card. So we'll see if there's any performance issues there. Boy, none that I can see. This this is just like any other comic book that would be on the the main drive. So, yeah, excellent. Looks good. All right. So that's basically uh, what the SD card, uh, how it works, and. Uh, a couple of aspects of it. It's pretty straightforward, I would have to say. I will note this, that the notes um, application, as far as I can tell, does not allow you to save um, your notes onto the SD card. So obviously you could drag them down, uh, you know, copy and what have you. Uh, you can also plug this whole device in and move files from storage to the SD card. Um, but for the most part, these notes files are not going to be very large. It's probably perfectly fine to keep them on the storage file. But if you did want to back them up, then, then that, that could certainly be done, but you have to do the additional step or you set up sync thing, but that's a video, um, for another time. All right. I think that covers it, um, in terms of the SD card. Okay, I had a request to take a look at Perfect Viewer, and we were able to install that app onto the device. You can see that right there. I'm gonna go ahead and launch the device, and I'll do a few things with it. But I, I do wanna point out that I don't normally use this application, so I'm just gonna be giving it kind of a very cursory, basic overview uh, to kind of show how it operates on the system. But I'm not gonna go into the details. It seems like a fairly robust app with a lot of options um, and you could tell that when you were going through the setup process it was actually a little overwhelming to be honest with you but i can understand why people like this application um, this would allow you to read comic books that um, you know are not you know drm protected say with the kindle or what have you so if you have comic book files near reader certainly can read those comic books as well, but for people who um, who really like this app, then this option is definitely available. So let's click on it. Okay, so we've I've already got a comic book loaded here, but let's go ahead and go into a file browser. And we saw, see these are a couple of comic books that are on the um, on the device itself. Let's see. If we can pull them off of, yeah, there we go. So we can pull them off the SD card. I have a number of comic books here. Let's go ahead and click on the first one. There we go. We can. Let's 
So as you can see, it's very smooth. Looks good, and I don't see a lot of ghosting either. Uh, let's see what can we have in terms of our e-ink settings. Uh, we're on ultra fast for performance, that's great. Okay, so yeah, you can definitely tell that the app uh, works well. Um, there's there's a bunch of, uh, of options here. What's this? Yeah, I see you can see there's a lot of different options. So I definitely can see why people like this application because it gives you a lot of control over how the comic books are viewed. But I do want to put a shout out though that the Neo Reader app on the device is is perfectly good as well. And let's go ahead and take a look at that. Um, if we go into storage, documents, we'll go into that same comic, which is right here. And so this is the Neo Reader app. Let me uh, go ahead and advance back to the beginning. Um, this is the Neo Reader is, we'll go ahead and minimize that is the reading app that's inherent on the books device. And you can see here, it's pretty good as well. The behavior is a little different. Let's look at those e-ink settings. Okay, so they have, they have different modes here. Uh, let's get out of Regal and go into this other mode. So it's much faster that way. And it's looking pretty good. There was an auto refresh. Okay. And actually in a weird kind of way, you, I don't know if people would use this or not, but you do have the ability for annotations to your comic book. So we could go ahead and pick, uh, here we got some red so I can go. So I don't know if anyone's interested in that, but you can certainly do annotations um, on the Neo Reader app as well. So I, I think the, the big picture here is we've got two great solutions for reading comic books and the device, one being the, uh, the inherent uh, native Neo Reader app and Perfect Viewer looks to work pretty well um, uh, also. So there you go, hopefully that helps. Kind of continuing with that comic book theme, um, I was asked to take a look at Marvel Unlimited, which we have right there. I'll point out that you do need a subscription, so I went ahead and signed up for a free trial just for the purposes of this video. Let's go ahead and go in there, and this is, um, I've already loaded uh, my profile and what have you, and so here are the comic books. Let's go ahead and take a quick look. If we're going further, okay, we're in ultra fast. That's great. We'll stick with that. Let's go ahead and click on this. See what it takes to load a comic. Read the issue. All right, that was pretty quick. Let's go ahead and there we go. Just tapping to advance. Let's see if we can. Pinch and zoom here. Yep, sure can. Right. Tap to get rid of that. Okay, so pretty responsive. Let's click on that and what's this button? Okay, this is more of a cell by cell view. So that's nice. All right, do this little waffle right there. Okay, those are the different pages. Let's get out of that view. There we go. So seems to work pretty well. All 
All right, I don't normally use this app, uh, much like the Perfect Viewer app that preceded it. Um, so there's there might be nuances and things people like to do with this app that I don't know because I'm kind of a noob with it. But um, the basic functionality is clearly there. Um, this is working really well. Comic book loaded super quick. Let's load up another one since we're here. Load a more recent one from 2023. Okay, click to get rid of the header. Let's go ahead and go back to that cell by cell. It's really the best way to watch comics, so you don't have to do any pinching and zooming. That yeah, looks great. Ghosting isn't that bad either. You can definitely see it, um, but it's not not too bad. And mostly you're seeing it in the black areas, not as much on the images. So, all right. Definitely, uh, definitely works on the 3C and looks great in Kaleido 3. Another request that I received was looking at large PDFs and how it would handle that. Um, and so I did find a PDF that I think is fairly large um, and hopefully meets that criteria. And I went ahead and loaded it on this device. Let's click on Documents. And it is the annual report for e-ink. So I thought that's pretty apropos. So we'll click on that and it will load. Um, I already had it loaded, um, but the actual loading process is just a few seconds. It's not bad at all. And you can see it's a 308 page document. So let's go ahead and move this over to the side and tap on it to advance. You can see it's very snappy. It doesn't seem to be struggling with the performance, uh, the size of this at all. Now you'll notice that the text is quite small. Of course you could pinch to zoom like so. The best way to read PDFs on a 10 inch screen though is not to go in portrait mode, but to go into um, landscape mode. And then you're looking at half of the page at a time. And then the text is pretty much close to normal size when you do it that way. So, um, yeah, but in terms of performance, this is really good. And you know, you can do annotations, of course, with NeoReader. So yeah, I wasn't quite sure what people were particularly concerned about with large PDF files, but this seems to be handling this very well. Let's scroll in here. Let's just kind of, oops. I think I accidentally advanced pages. There we go. Let's go. I think the, the important point here is that clearly uh, this can handle a large file because 300 pages is, is pretty good. And there's some graphical images in this file as well. So there you go. So that's it for this episode. As you've kind of noted the theme of this one, there are a number of applications or things that haven't really worked with as much. And so I'm hoping that the amount that we were able to cover was what people were looking for. Um, because I'm not normally uh, fluent in a lot of these applications, for example. So did my best, um, and hopefully that kind of added value in the end. I'm sure requests will continue to come in, and I'll do another video at some point, but I do want to set expectations that it's probably going to be a while, a few weeks, or maybe even a month, when I can get out the next video um, in this series, just because there's all sorts of other things that... Um, that we're looking into and doing in terms of these videos. And so I have a limited amount of time uh, to work with as I work a full-time job in addition to this hobby, um, but I will get to it. So just know that um, if there's questions that I can't answer in the chat that would be better in a video format, um, I will, and I'm capable of, of understanding the app and working with it, I'll try to do that and uh, film it, but there will be a delay. So just wanted to let everyone know, but I definitely wanna help people. Um, that's a big reason why we put the channel together. Um, and so um, if people do have questions and I'm capable of answering them, then I will give it my best try. All right, thank you very much. And I hope you have a great day.